next time you hear a politician push for a new arena or a new stadium in his or her area because it is an economic generator, you should bring up the story of Chester, Pennsylvania. You see, Chester, Pennsylvania could run out of money and could be disincorporated. Things are bleak for the city that filed for Chapter 9 bankruptcy protection in November 2022. But it was not supposed to be this way. In 2004, the Pennsylvania Racehorse Development and Gaming Act was passed, which legalized slot machines at 14 locations beginning in 2006. One of the licenses was given to a Chester racetrack, and it was thought that would be the catalyst that would reverse the fortunes of Chester, a city that has been in steep decline since the 1950s. Chester also decided to build a major league soccer state-of-the-art stadium in 2008, and that stadium was supposed to be the centerpiece of a revitalization of the city's waterfront with a village including retail and office space along with housing. Pennsylvania put up money for the stadium, and that combined with casino betting would be enough to get Chester back on its feet. The village never sprung up around the stadium, which opened in 2010. In 2022, the owners of the local Philadelphia Union soccer franchise announced a plan to build an athletic center next to the soccer stadium, a 170,000 square foot sportsplex as part of an ongoing effort to develop and revitalize the Delaware River waterfront. Ongoing is a key word here, as it has been 13 years since the stadium opened with a planned village that was to go with it. None of this will get Chester out of a bankruptcy proceeding. The stadium does not bring real economic development, as Chester residents could tell you. I'm Evan Weiner.